Welcome. Good evening. It's it's nice to say good evening, right? We could we could just say evening, but we are saying good evening to everybody across India who joins us today and in this part of the world. And good afternoon to whoever joins us from London and and Wales and and maybe later in the evening to those who are closer to Australia and we're just happy that you've taken time out to join us here today and we are hoping that you are feeling that way as well thank you very much for joining us today is day four of our six webinars the entire series that has been so carefully and consciously been put together to take you on a journey that you and I cultivate and create daily wellness routines, habits that will kind of allow us to settle and find a, a centering, a grounding during this time of the pandemic. So thank you very much for joining us. This is webinar four of Feel, Festival for Empowerment and Art for Life brought to you by British Council in collaboration with Kolkata Shomved. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning in different parts of the world. And uh, as we invite you to come into the space, gently let me also remind you that we've had a time of, of just understanding what today's session was gonna be about when we first met our sound therapy practitioner who's going to be joining us in this space and it is with those sounds and with that memory that I'm going to invite you to come in here and also invite you to look at this space as your safe space and I'm hoping that you have a bottle of water close by that you are feeling comfortable right now and you are ready to bring all of you into the space. So if you want to put your cell phone on silent today, always a good habit when you're getting into a space of sound healing. And while you're doing that, I'd like you to also join me in our opening ritual. So if you are ready, I am. Are you ready? Are you nodding? Are you saying yes out loud? Are you giving me a thumbs up to the screen? Then let's sing. I'm here now. I'm here now. All of me is right here now. One more time. I'm here now. I'm here now, all of me is right here now. So as we start out our fourth webinar, let me introduce myself to you. I am RJ Keisha and I've retained the RJ because I've been a radio jockey for most of my life. But over the last decade, I've had a chance of delving into and immersing myself into wellness. And I also got the opportunity to, to be a dance movement therapy practitioner through um, a, an amazing year that I spent learning from the, the session that's put together by Kolkata Shomved in association with TIS and at the Center of Lifelong Learning. But right now I have an online YouTube channel called Mind Your Health, where I interact with and learn from, because I, I believe, I'd like to believe that I am a lifelong learner, and I'd like to learn from different teachers across the world and share that with you as well on Mind Your Health. So today, I want to introduce you to somebody who all of us will definitely learn a lot from, and today she's going to guide us into a space of, of well-being, so everybody, we are going to welcome into our space right now someone who is a sound therapy practitioner. She lives off the grid in 
West Wales and provides a range of sound therapies and retreats from her home. Her years of experience working in the mental health field will allow her to bring so much of well-being into our homes right now. So we're going to step into her home. Actually, she'll tell us more of the space that she's in right now. So please, wherever you are, if you're at home, in your drawing room, your bedroom, um, wherever you are, go ahead and welcome. Put our hands together and welcome Sally Davies. Welcome, Sally. Thank you so much for being here today. Well, thank you, Keisha. Yeah, it's a real pleasure to be with you here today, with all of you, wherever you are at the moment. <clears throat> As Keisha said, you might be in India, it might be late afternoon, or here it's just about midday um, and other places across the world. So here I'm in West Wales and I live, um, I've got a small woods, an ancient woodland, and I live in the middle of the woods. And this yurt that I'm sitting in at the moment um, is an old traditional Mongolian um, structure. Um, so, and it's just, there's something beautiful about working in this round space that the yurt provides. And it feels like I'm surrounded by round things. So my lovely round gongs and my lovely round crystal bowls like this one here and or the singing bowls so as Keisha said um, I worked for many years as a mental health professional um, I, I was in Kolkata um, oh many moons ago uh, working with an organization called Shonlap which um, many of you will probably know and that was where I met Shohini and saw some of the amazing work that she was doing with the dance therapists with the girls who've been rescued from the red light areas and after that um, I suppose for the last about 10 years I've been working in the fields of sound I've trained as a gong practitioner and also as a naked voice facilitator where um, that's about just free sounding how you feel that's an amazing uh, experience as well and also I've been training the last six years with a lovely woman called Kim Rosen who's American and she runs the Poetry Depths Mystery School and that's all about using poems to find out and discover more about yourself so um, I will be bringing some poems into this session uh, this afternoon but first of all, I'd like to just tell you a bit about uh, some of the history and um, the theory of the gongs and the other sound healing instruments. Um, the gongs, they're not really quite sure. Um, let me, if I just put my screen up a bit, you can see my big gong, which is called the sun gong. There are actually 18 different planetary gongs and a scientist many years ago Hans Kusto worked out what um, speed each planet was rotating at and um, he worked out then how that related to a resonance so this the sun gong the sound that it makes is directly correlates to the speed at which the um, the sun moves so it's all very scientific um, they don't really know uh, where the first gongs were discovered. They think it might have been in Persia and they think it might have been when people were living in caves and uh, when they were cooking in the caves, gradually over time, the minerals would come down from the walls and created a sort of metal plate. And when they started um, beating it with something, they were aware what beautiful sounds that they made but nobody's really sure if that's if that's the truth or not because you can find gongs in and and other sound healing instruments all over the world in india um, nepal particularly uh, all the nepalese and tibetan uh, singing bowls but you also get them in china and all over so that's that's really a bit of a guess saying that they were um, made first in Persia 
um, but uh, the, now they're made, these ones that I have, I have four here today, which I will be playing. Um, and that they, they were all made in Germany. So there's a place in Germany now that makes them called Peisty Gongs. Um, so it's, I will be playing the gongs, but um, because of the way that uh, Zoom works, um, I have to play the gongs quite gently because Zoom can't quite cope with the power of the gongs. So today I'll be bringing in a lot of the other more gentler instruments. Um, but if you get a chance to go and look online at some other gong um, sessions, or there's lots of um, gong CDs that you can download, then you can have a chance to hear them um, at their most powerful. So I'll just say a bit about um, sound. So sound has been used um, therapeutically for thousands of years all across the globe. Um, and it's been used to, to help people to relax and soothe and de-stress, as well as to heal and to alter consciousness. So at this time of the pandemic, it's a really good uh, practice to get involved in on a regular basis to make sure that you're having those periods of relaxation and stress-free times to help you face some of the issues that you have to face in the world today. So I'll just say a bit more about the sounds. So these harmonious sounds, they have a healing effect on the body on a cellular level. So each of our cells are responding to the sounds around us. And it's useful to, if, to understand how sound healing works. Um, it's useful to realize that everything around us is energy. So whether it's um, an, an old ancient stone, um, a rock in the ground, or um, material or anything around us it's all com it's all made up of energy vibrating at different frequencies so things like the big rocks their frequency will be really slow and that they take so long to change that you know they're there you would think that they don't change but actually they do but very slowly and as human beings we are also vibrating energy forms and our bodies consist of around 70% of water and water is an excellent conductor of sound so when we hear sounds our bodies are really reacting to them so you might have seen or heard um, the session that Ruth did yesterday where she was bringing in sound um, with the sound on the glass and the water and you could see how well that those sounds you know traveled through the water so when when we are bathed in sound that's why it's often called a gong bath we're bathed in the sounds and vibrations of the gongs and different areas of our bodies respond to the different sounds that are made by it's locking in or it's called entrainment and entrainment is when the purity of the sound of the gongs means that the things around it are brought in to the same sort of frequency levels and so that um, so it means that our bodies start to vibrate at the same frequencies as the gongs and other instruments and that brings harmony and healing. So if there's an imbalance or a stuckness in our body, anywhere in our body, all these sounds um, will stimulate the body and stimulate the cells to vibrate in sympathy with their sounds. And literally it's like tuning up, tuning our bodies up. So like the same, if you play a guitar, you will tune up the guitar before you play it so it sounds good. Well, this is like tuning up our bodies, ready for what, what the world, um, th whatever the world throws at us. If we're tuned, the more tuned up we can be, the more ready we are to deal with whatever comes to us. So as well as the physical body, 
sound also works on the subtle energy body and that's the energy around us like our aura and that's often where before we become physically ill often there's some imbalance or dis-ease like a dis an, an uneasiness in our aura and that's that can be where things show up first before they have a physical effect so with using the gongs and the other instruments we can help to clear those energy blockages and therefore we can prevent illness and disease before it reaches the three-dimensional reality so in this time of the pandemic again as i mentioned you know the sound bars can be so healing to us and helping us to restore ourselves um, even before or just getting ourselves as ready as we can as healthy and in as top condition as we can and top condition doesn't necessarily mean you know running a marathon or being on the go all the time it's also really important to bring in these times and these spaces where we just rest and relax and can just recharge our batteries and be ready to face what, what comes next so today um in in west wales the the weather we walked i walked around my woods earlier with with my sister who's come to visit and um, there were various trees that had fallen down. We've had a big storm here, Storm Ellen. And um, I think as well as, I think I mentioned this the other day, as well as getting us ready for what's happening in these times of the virus, we also have climate change, um, which we have to acknowledge. And the storms that were, you know, the more increasing storms and the the whole ranges of weathers that we're getting across the world are indicative of this climate change that is facing us all and again these if the more well-being we can have it can help us deal with that sort of thing as well as the pandemic so just to say the gongs work on all levels so they work on the physical level on the emotional level and on the spiritual level so I would like to invite you, if you'd like to set an intention for the gong bath on one or possibly two of these levels. So maybe I'll just invite you to just gently close your eyes and just see if there's anything that arises that you might think, oh yes, that's what I want my intention to be about. So if it's something physical, it could be something very specific if you have a pain in your shoulder or in your knee or wherever um, you can your intention can be to bring healing to that area or if it's something that's more emotional or spiritual it can be about inviting more of something into your life so it could be more peace more joy more love and um, that's just a few examples you can come up with your own examples or it could be about releasing something from your life that isn't really serving you so it could be about releasing stress or releasing fear or releasing anxiety um, so I'll just give you a, f a couple of moments just to feel into if you'd like to set an intention if you prefer not to set an intention that's fine but it often is good to have that intention to focus on so just as you as an intention is coming into you if you'd be happy to share that with us on the screen then um, that would be great and Keisha can read some of them out so it can okay. be anything you know whatever maybe as soon as you closed your eyes there might have been something that popped into your head often those are really good things to set intentions about because that's our subconscious that's um that's coming in um 
without us even having to think about it. Uh, so Sally, I'll share a few of the intentions that have come in. Malik says, releasing the continuous anxiety that he has. Uh, Suja says, I'm going to be releasing all my stress and anxiety. Ruchira adds, intending for a rebirth full of compassion, high consciousness and love. And while other intentions come in, I'd like to share mine. I want to enjoy ease and flow. That is what I'm intending, flow. Uh, Guy 3 says, uh, to feel relief from my stomach issue of acidity, emotionally, anxiety and stress, spiritually, faith in process of life. That is so, so many intentions coming in right now. And while you are typing out your intentions and sharing it, I want to thank all of you for being here and a request that to understand that all the webinars have been created for those who are 18 and above. And if you are below 18 years of age, please make sure that you are participating under adult supervision or with an adult at your side. Tamanna adds, just to be there and experience, while Garima is saying, open to new opportunities to explore much more into my spiritual self. And we've got so many, Anjana says, accepting challenges with gratitude, uh, inviting you to share all your chat with everybody, with the panelists and the attendees so that everybody can, can participate and understand where we are coming from to feel light and connected, says Suhotra. Thank you very much. Well, Sally, I, I'm, I'm loving how everybody's setting an intention and also somebody is open to just being here and experiencing. Yeah, lovely. And it's lovely to see how people are really c making connections between some of the things that are happening for them um, psychologically and how that then um, comes into a physical issue so somebody mentioned um, anxiety and psoriasis so it's great you know when you are aware of how imbalances in your emotional um, aura can impact on your body um, on your physical um, health so that's great I think the more that we can be aware of those connections the easier it is then to um, do something to um, to tackle it. So um, we'll move on then into the more experiential um, part of this session, which um, I think will be the the most <laughs> the most exciting well the most exciting and relaxing of of the parts. So um, usually. Um, when I'm playing the gong, a gong bath, when people are here in person, then people get to experience not only the sounds, but also the vibrations of the gongs and different instruments. And that, the vibrations themselves can be really powerful. So in order to sort of try and bring in some of that vibrational energy that you won't be getting on Zoom, I'm going to invite you to just do a little humming um, with me. So if you can just, um, just get comfortable and just um, lightly hum. And one of the things that um, people often say about our own sounds that we make ourselves is that we are God's first instrument. So we are our own musical instruments. So because we're not getting, because you're not getting the vibrations of the gongs, we're just going to bring that vibration in ourselves through the humming. So just take a couple of deep breaths. And then just gently hum. And as you're humming, just put your lips together so that when, when you're humming, it's like a tickling sound. 
and you can it's very easy to feel the vibrations of the hum on your lips but if you do hum keep humming for a few more minutes and just feel where that hum goes in the rest of your body can you feel it in your arms can you feel it in your fingertips can you feel it down in your belly is there a particular place in your body this evening that you'd like to take that healing hum to just see if with your humming if you can take that humming to the place that needs your healing energy at the moment so we'll just hum for a bit longer mm. And often that pitch that we choose to hum at is the one that our body knows that is going to bring us the most benefit. So your, your humming might be at a different, completely different sound to mine because that might be what your body needs today. And if you were doing it again tomorrow, your hum might sound completely different. So it's just your body really knows what it needs in the moment. So we'll just do that a few more times. So how do you and how does your body feel after that humming? If you'd like to share anything online about how you're feeling at the moment, what that humming has done for you, then feel welcome. But if you're feeling, if you're already entering a really relaxed state of it and you don't want to be typing, then that's fine too, just stay with how you're feeling, but if you'd like to share, then that would be lovely too. Sally, may I? Because Ruchira says that I felt alive and had tears in my eyes. And Gayatri speaks about awareness, about that part in me that needs healing. Tamanna says I'm feeling calm and Malik says, fresh and ready. So like Sally had mentioned, if you have any questions uh, during the sound bath, and if it's really calling to you, then please make sure that you add that to the chat. And uh, towards the end of our session today, Sally will, will answer and will share with you. And uh, Sally was mentioning earlier that at times, during the sound bath, if she's not visible on the screen, she may be standing closer to the gong or that's fine as well because we will be immersed in the sound bath. And remember, if you need to take a sip of water in the middle, please listen to your body. 
Oh, that's lovely. Somebody saying that they had images of the mountains coming in when they were humming. So, um, shortly I'll be inviting you to lie down or get comfortable, whatever feels most comfortable for you, ready for the sound bath. Most people um, like to lie down if, if you've got a space around. And it might be nice, even if you're somewhere that's hot, just sometimes having a light covering over you just helps to you to feel sort of protected and um, just helps you can f feel relaxed. So the more relaxed and open you can be, the, the better the sounds and the vibrations will work. And if at all during the time when I'm playing the different instruments, you want to do a little bit of humming, you probably won't want to hum all the way through it. Um, but if you feel, oh yes, I'd like to feel those vibrations again, then just bring in that a bit of humming whenever you feel like it. Um, so there will be some, there may be some silences um, in the middle of the gong bath as well. And really enjoy the depth of those silences as well as the depths of the sounds um, because there's something quite special about the silences in between the sounds um, that you can really sink into and just be as relaxed as you can um, and I will I will at the end of it I will be um, bringing you gently back so I'll be letting you know that it's the end and then I'll, I'll do a few little exercises to bring you back into your bodies and into your into the space that you're in. Um, it's always interesting um, when I do these gong baths um, virtually on Zoom because I have no idea where people are and what their situations are and I have to trust that um, in the way that we all connect through this sound that people will just take the best care of themselves that they can in this moment. So to, hopefully you have somewhere a nice quiet space, somewhere where you can feel safe and um, you can really relax and let go. So I'm just going to talk you through a very gentle relaxation. So as you're lying or sitting there, just feel which parts of your body are in connection with what you're sitting or lying on. So from the tops of your head, the back of your head, if you're lying down, feel what does the back of your head feel like touching the bed or the floor or the mat that you're lying on? What does that sensation feel like? And can you really let go let go of your muscles. Imagine even your bones and your skin relaxing. And then down over your shoulders. How are your shoulders feeling today? You might want to give them a bit of a wriggle. And then down, down your arms, right down to your fingertips. Just make sure that every part of your body is as comfortable as it can be in the space where you are. And then back up to your shoulders again and down your backs, down to your bottoms and your hips and then down your legs, right down to the backs of your heels or the soles of your feet, whichever part of your feet are in connection with the surface that you're lying on. And just take a couple of deep breaths. And when you breathe out, just <sighs> sigh them out just to release any tension that might still be remaining in your body. <sighs> And I'll start off with a poem by Rumi called The Guest House. This being human 
is a guest house. Every morning, a new arrival, a joy, a depression, a meanness. Some momentary awareness comes as an unexpected visitor. Welcome and entertain them all, even if they're a crowd of sorrows who violently sweep your house empty of its furniture. Still, treat each guest honourably. He may be clearing you out for some new delight. The dark thought, the shame, the malice. Meet them at the door laughing and invite them in. Be grateful for whoever comes, because each has been sent as a guide from beyond. The dark thought, the shame, the malice. Meet them at the door laughing and invite them in. Be grateful for whoever comes because each has been sent as a guide from beyond. So just allow yourself to enjoy whatever journey you're about to embark on. It's different every time you have a sound journey, so it's good not to have any expectations just enjoy whatever comes. Sometimes it might be a very deep relaxation. Some of you may fall asleep and that's fine. The sounds will still work at, a, at an unconscious level if you're not awake. Or sometimes people can have visions or all sorts of journeys, but yeah, just see what arises and enjoy whatever is there. Sometimes the sounds can be very powerful and if, if, if they feel too powerful, just come back and focus on your breathing, on your breath in and on your breath out and know that whatever feeling comes up, it will pass and enjoy.
begin the song exactly where you are. Remain within the world of which you're made. Call nothing common in the earth or air. Accept it all and let it be for good. Start with the very breath you breathe in now. This moment's pulse, this rhythm in your blood and listen to it ringing soft and low. Stay with the music, words will come in time. Slow down your breathing, keep it deep and slow. Become an open singing bowl whose chime is richness rising out of emptiness and timelessness resounding into time. And when your heart is full of quietness, begin the song exactly where you are. And when your heart is full of quietness, begin the song exactly where you are. So as you slowly come back into the space, into your bodies. Take a couple of deep breaths or maybe wiggle your fingers and toes or have a stretch, whatever you feel best brings you back from wherever you've been. And just in your own time, there's no rush, but slowly come back up to sitting if you've been lying down. And maybe you'd like to share with us how that was for you. So anything about the sound bath, did it, did it relate to your intention that you set? How did you feel during the gong bath or how are you feeling now? We've got, uh, actually, it's it's such a beautiful space. I think, uh, Sally, you've, I, I didn't really want to speak right now because you've kind of just taken us into this complete surrender to the moment. And I asked for ease and flow and I actually had visuals. I could see myself standing at the edge of a, at the edge of a mountain, like a cliff and, and, and seeing rolling hills and 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 breeze and feel it all it was it was such a tangible experience so thank you and uh, I'm, I'm looking at feel heavy in my heart uh, and chest followed by a deep visual imagery and catharsis says Gayatri a great release the gong felt like a revolution within him hard indeed Thank you, with gratitude. Gina's added as well, and so has Malik, completely refreshed. Kinjal says, relaxed. Gina also adds calmness, peaceful imagination, and relaxed. It's interesting how it's been so precise. Kinjal said started with a sharp pain in the in the middle of the forward, following a jerk of the head and then completely relaxed. Suja adds, at a point of time, I felt my heart open, white heart with redness inside and all the people, white with black eyes who hurt me come out and go away. 
Latha added varied sensations throughout, overall peaceful. Ruchira saying, very deep vibration set in and my body from stomach down to my Muladha chakra, I was rearing up. I felt I have been associated with them for lifetimes. Okay, we've got the chats coming in really quickly. So uh, Kamalika said, so beautiful. Thank you for the experience. Chandrima has added, Not as if nothing is there in my surrounding and just me relaxing. Well, while you're writing in, Lena's added the intention to shift the deep pain in the right shoulder since the last four months seems to have deeply massaged it with me, with the sound. And in this moment, I don't feel the pain. Miraculous. I feel deeply rested. Uh, well, you know, we've got so many beautiful uh, messages here but uh, Sally I'm going to ask you a lot of us are taking back these moments and um, the question that I'm going to ask you is what are the takeaways that we're taking back with us today because the sound bath released so much within and maybe unfolded so much for us so what are the takeaways that you suggest and everybody at home watching us on this online space as well go ahead and uh, write what are your takeaways what are you taking back with you i think as it's so it's so lovely to see all your comments and all your feedback um thank you it's amazing what um you know that that was just a half an hour taster experience usually i play for an hour and it just shows you how powerful they are. And you don't have to be in the same room at all. I mean, it's, you know, it makes my heart sing. I feel really moved by it. That these instruments can reach such a long way and can help so many people but uh, yeah so I, I do feel very moved by it and I want to thank you all for being really willing to open yourselves and to share your journeys with us very powerful so the takeaway is that uh, so this has all been recorded and if you would like to listen to it again whenever you whenever you feel moved to it's a great thing to listen to especially if you have problems sleeping um you can listen to it just before you go to sleep while you're lying in bed and people say that they have amazing um have you know deep sleeps um can sometimes bring different dreams into you um so yes, th I think that's the main takeaway. And I've also, um, oh, so I've, I've also, um, Malik is just writing in the session now about some of the other things that I'm offering. I offer um, regular ongoing things on Zoom. Um, and I do a newsletter that goes out um, once a month by email. So if anybody would like to be on my newsletter, my email address is there. It's just um, saldavishotmail.com. And if you'd like to hear more about the different things that I offer, um, I, I ask at this time in the pandemic, I'm um, just asking for um, donations or if people are suffering um, financial difficulties, then I'm happy to offer free sessions to people um, so it's great that you know so many people can join from all over the world and be able to access such such sounds I did make um, a CD a couple of years ago um, but I didn't make it in an mp3 format but I feel really um, motivated to do another one now and to do it in a format where um, it can reach whoever would like to hear it um, 
So that is something that I would like to um, do in the next couple of months. I feel very motivated <laughs> after today's session to do that particularly. So, yes, so thank you, everybody. Thank oh, and one thing I must remember to say, because as you can see from people's comments, it can really stir up and my reaction, it can really stir up a lot of emotions, a lot of things that maybe we don't even realize are there. So make sure that you drink plenty of water for the rest of the day and um, just take it easy for the rest of the day, the evening and just relax and um, enjoy the, the relaxation and the feelings of uh, yeah, deep rest and and it can be feel re-energized by it. For sure, for sure. Thank you so much, Sally. I think we've all connected with you and connected with a healing that's begun within us. So definitely please drink that water. And uh, all the resources that Sally has spoken about are right here. Please make sure that you reach out and connect with her because she's got ongoing sessions and her email address is in the chat as well. Uh, in case you haven't had a chance to copy that, we will send an email across to you. You could write it in the chat right now if you haven't already given it to us or if you're watching it on the live Facebook page of Kolkata Shambhid, go ahead and write it over there in the comments and we will make sure that you get the resources that Sally's been sharing um, and she will be sharing as well. We want you to know that you can share this recorded session with all your loved ones if you want them to experience the sound bath and you can experience it again as well. It is uploaded on the Facebook page of Kolkata Shomved and on the YouTube page as well, uh, channel of Kolkata Shomved. So as we thank Sally for, for this beautiful, beautiful session, I think so much has stirred up inside all of us. And as Suja said, I lost connection and missed the resources. Suja, the resources will find their way to you. Please just make sure that you write your email address in the chat. And along with this, we want you to give us your feedback. I know you've been connected and you've been sharing, but we have a feedback form and we'd like for you to let us know how this session was for you. What did it bring up for you? What stirred inside for you? So. Uh, Go ahead and fill the feedback form for our webinar for we're pretty much coming to the close of it but i know that the the work that has begun right here will stay with us and 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 be in your quiet and be with your yourself and see what really awakens for you you can share that with us and share that with with sally as well and uh, remember we've got our next webinar webinar five that's uh, gonna be next week on a Friday evening on the 28th and it's going to be about mindfulness practice. So while you're doing that and getting ready for that one, remember that um, you have been invited to bring along with you two dry fruits, the same dry fruits. So it could be raisins or figs, apricots or dry dates, two of the same dry fruit, a bottle of water, a book to write in, um, a few colors, it could be felt pens, crayons, and your gratitude journal, if you've already got it or if you started working on it yesterday, like we've been guided by Ruth. So uh, you could add into that gratitude journal already and share about today's session, the awakening that happened within you. So uh, we're gonna see you again next week. And Sally, as we say, thank you to you. Thank you for sharing your beautiful gift with us. And especially that time of Naked Voice when you were singing, I think, uh, my, my entire being was alive. So thank you so much. And along, and along with that, um, I'd like to say thank you to the entire team of FEEL, the Festival for Empowerment and Art of Life. You're truly so consciously and, and, and I think especially for each one of us who's joined here today and whoever watches this video in the future, it has been chosen for us. So field team wants to say a big thank you to every single person who's been a part of creating these webinars we've completed webinar four we've got webinar five which is going to be next friday at 4 30 on the 28th please join us it's going to be mindfulness practice 
We'd like to say thank you to all the members of British Council and Kolkata Shomved, John Kennedy, Paramita Chaudhary, Shinali Ganguly, Manish Gupta, and Radhika Singh from British Council, and Namrata Kanuga from Kolkata Shomved, Malika Arjun Roy for hosting the festival, Adhiraj Mukherjee and the hip element for designing all the communication material, and all the volunteers who've been making sure that we are connected and uh, we know what is happening. Shubham Srivastav, Krishnendu B.S., Shruti Ayer, Polomi Robin, and Gayatri Joshi, and every one of you who joins us from home, thank you so, so much. Your presence and your sharing brings this space alive. And uh, this, this space seems safer and more connected because of your sharing and your presence. So uh, we look forward to you joining us and, and let, uh, let us be well-being companions. I think that's a new one, well-being companions. As uh, we move forward with webinar five and webinar six, uh, I'm gonna see you then. Until then, let's go ahead and, and give Sally a huge virtual hug. I, I wanna send it out to you and everybody as well, I'm sure. So thank you so much, Sally. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, a nice hug. Yes, a nice hug. Everybody give it to yourself and send out the, the wellness to Sally and thank you for the work you're doing. And to everybody at home, let's, let's close with thanking ourselves because you chose to be here. You chose to be immersed. You chose to share. And because you did, we can say, well done. Well done. Shabash. Well done. So we're going to see you next Friday on the 28th. Please join us. It is webinar five of Feel, the Festival for Empowerment and Art for Life. I'm sure you know the entire abbreviation and the, the, the stretched out version because it is coming alive for us. Thank you for your presence and your time here. Bye. Thanks, Sally.